What's up, Poker Maniac TFP back to you with another video. This time we're going to be playing Blackjack for a little bit, but I got something to say. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet. You know, if you're new or you're not new and you still watch my videos, uh, go ahead and do that for your boy, man. We got a long way to a thousand subscribers. Now, with that being said, um, you know, I'm a music producer slash rapper, you know what I'm saying? And all we wanted to do was get, like, my music on, you know, TVs or, you know, something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to create music. You know, I also play the saxophone, whatever. So, uh, this girl that's in my hometown, uh, we, you know, collabed way back in 2013. That's when I first met her. Or whatever but uh, I was involved with another group that we were doing really well and then all of a sudden the manager wanted to just kind of break us apart you know what I'm saying and we sold a good amount of albums when we released but then the manager was like nah we're not doing this no more blah 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 broke the group up and all that music and all that uh, time that we spent on that music is wasted why they're hitting on fives, I don't know. But all that music was wasted and stuff like that. And it just basically, you know what I'm saying, uh, wasted my time. You know what I mean? But so the other girl that I met in 2013, she wasn't a part of the group. But she liked the, what we were doing as a group. You know, she liked our music or whatever. And she wanted to be a singer slash songwriter as well. So after our group, my group broke up. I started, you know, doing music with her and stuff like that, and we messed around, and, uh, not like that, I'm saying, like, we got in a predicament where we, um, got a chance to work with some dude that worked with Michael Jackson and a bunch of other people, and I'm not mentioning names, because I don't want to put no bad rep on nobody, but he ended up charging a whole lot of money to mix down a song for us when I know somebody that did a project with Eminem and was only going to charge me a hundred dollars to mix down a song for me you feel me and and that's real talk but uh for him to charge us two thousand dollars is ridiculous that is a ridiculous amount of money just to just to mix a song down that's already been recorded like, the song, we recorded the song over here, you know. I laid out all the tracks, track per track, and he charges us $2,000 for that. I felt like it's a rip -off. I'm a double here. It's a dangerous double. But, uh, no, it's a good double. Um, damn. But, uh, I was going to stay on 19 regardless. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, he charges two grand, you feel me? And I feel like we got messed over, you know? And I told the girl I'd go half with her, but really, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have the half when I told her I'd go in with her, so that's why I did a GoFundMe, okay? Now, the original GoFundMe was for the music equipment that I needed, like the gaming console to whip out videos quicker, like music videos and these videos as well. You know, I could whip out like three videos a day, man, because those gaming consoles are fast, you know. And uh, that's what it was originally for. But now, you know what I'm saying, half of that is going to be towards, you know, paying my $1,000 half, you feel me? So if any of y'all want to go to my GoFundMe account and donate, bro, I would really appreciate it. I set it up, you know, all of that was for the music equipment, but... You know, I can use that for my little, what you call it. I still can get my gaming console with the extra 2000 I got to look up the gaming console. Like, I had everything uh, laid out. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Like, I had all the uh, prices for everything laid out. We needed a new microphone as well because I wanted to get that baby bottle microphone by Blue. I love that mic. I uh, needed a no new computer and two monitors. 
and you know that's what it was originally for but now you know what I'm saying your boy needs a little help you know what I'm saying if anybody out there would like to donate even five dollars even a dollar would be great and everybody that donates will get like free future music from me you know I could just send it to you in an email or whatever see what we can do you know I appreciate everybody I appreciate everybody that subscribed too uh, we'll stand here I think he has a four hopefully he has a no of course but like I said I appreciate everybody let's see if we can get to 5,000 no let's see if we can get to 6,000 real quick don't call me on my off day, bro. I, I was doing this video like five minutes ago, and somebody called me from my work. I'm like, bro, don't call me on my off day, bro. Like, you got me messed up. 16, man. What are these 16? I have to stay. Can't be strong all the time, dealer. Or can you? That was some lucky stuff, bro. You tie the dealer and get one above, two above the dealer. That's some lucky stuff. Yeah, I was going to say the dealer is going to win win with that stuff, man. Oh, yeah, the link is in the description. The GoFundMe account, man. I really appreciate it. Boy trying to shake back. I promise you, when I make this comeback and this shake back, bro, it's, it's, it's going to be something crazy. And, uh, you know, I'm the type of person like Mr. Beast, you feel me? I don't know if you know who Mr. Beast is, but he, like, donates money to a lot of people, like a lot of streamers and random people, waitresses and waiters, and delivery drivers, you know. If I got it like that, you feel me, I want to do that too. Just, you know bless people man i like to see smiles on people's faces man just be like hey i did a good job at work today and this guy blessed me with a lot of money you know and you know i mean you know it's cool for views and stuff like that but like in reality and overall like i want to put smiles on people's faces and you best believe if i get a waitress like i had one time she was just Acting like she didn't want to serve nobody. She didn't want to come to the table, check on my drinks. You know what I'm saying? Me and my friend got this thing. You keep the drinks full and you keep coming by to check on us every now and then. Like, you good. You getting a good tip. But if you, you know what I'm saying, don't want to, you act like you don't want to come over there and talk. You you want to blow us off. We waiting 30 minutes to order and stuff like that. You ain't getting, you ain't getting nothing, bro. You ain't getting nothing. Like, I ain't going to say nothing, but, you know. My plan is, like, for a good waitress or whatever, waiter, like, put, like, $500 bills rolled up in ones. So it makes it look like it's a bunch of ones, but then they open it up, it's like $500. You feel me? Like, I want to do that one day. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's just out of the kindness of my heart. You know what I'm saying? But I've been messed over before trying to help people out. Bruh, I'm not mentioning any names. But I got this girl a job. I got her a place to stay. I helped her get a cell phone. All that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And what do I get in return? Nothing. She didn't keep her she didn't keep her apartment. She didn't keep her job. She made me look bad with the person I knew to get that job. It was an easy job, great job. She could have been tipped well. You know what I'm saying? And, like, literally lost, a, like, a $1,000 with that alone, okay? Not even with the music, but I lost a $1,000 with that alone, if not more than that. You feel me? And just trying to help somebody out, because this person was bad off, you know what I mean? And, in my opinion, I'm not crazy, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to disrespect nobody, but, you know, it was a beautiful girl, you know what I'm saying? And, and she had potential. So I'm like, look, you need to get away from all this bad stuff. Let me help you out and stuff. But people just stuck on, stuck on, <laughs> forgive my language, people stuck on stupid, man. There was like no helping her at all. Like, you know, you, it, you just, sometimes it just makes 
you mad whenever you want to help somebody out and they don't want to help themselves, man. Like, like you did everything that you could, but they just they they're not gonna do it because they don't want to help themselves. You know, you can't make a person change until they want to change. But you know, that makes people not want to help people out at all. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, like no, nah, the next person that need help, they ain't getting help from me. And it should not even be like that, but people take advantage of that stuff, man. And it's sad, you know what I mean? It, it, it probably will be a long time before I help somebody out like that, you feel me? But, like, tipping somebody, you know, out of the kindness of my heart and not expecting anything back is a different story. But when <clears throat> I get you a job and, a, and an apartment and I pay for the upfront cost and you tell me you finna do stuff to pay me back, like, not nothing, you know, nothing like that, but, like, to pay me back with your job that you got, and, and to get on these online businesses and stuff, and rock these businesses to help us, and you don't do none of that, that's childish, man, I don't even know why I doubled down, I got pissed off, but, um, I would have busted anyway, about a hit. But yeah, man, that's sad. People do that stuff, man. You know? No insurance. I bet you the dealer got blackjack, man, just to piss me off. Ah. Hit. Give me my face. Stand. Give him the face. Give him the king. Damn, I should have hit. I don't know what the dealer got. Probably got a, a nine under there. Yep. Oh, man. The deck is bad right now, dude. The deck is terrible. I'm going to play four more hands, including this one. So this is one. We got 19 with a five. It says to double down here, but I'm just going to stand on my 19. And if he takes a card without doubling down, he's an idiot. Double down. Get that jack. King. Okay, good, good, good. Give us a... No. Okay, I won by one. Okay, that was one. But like I said, man, if y'all could just go down there to that GoFundMe, man, and, and, and donate something, $5, $1, I'd appreciate anything, man, to get us out of this little hole I'm in and expect more music to come because I'm not done. I'm not done. I've created a lot of music in my, my life, you know. And I feel like some of it wasn't mixed well, but I've learned a lot since then, and I'm ready to make some more music, so... It won't be put to waste. Shut your mouth. My dog is being rude. Come on, dealer. Have 18 only. Let me win this hand. Of course you got a hit. That was two. This is my third hand. Come on, man. Let's get to uh, 5,000. So we got 15 against a 6. 7. We're actually going to stand here. I don't care. I've been standing the whole game. Like, the dealer's got to bust one day. If I would have hit, I would have busted anyway. So, good for me. Bro, what's going on? What is going on? Nobody, nobody touched nothing, bro. So what is extra stuff? Told you you're gonna get a seven. Of course. <laughs> bro.
bro, why am I not in this hand? You got me. That was my ace. They got me bent, bro. And that bottom card is supposed to be my blackjack. I bet you it's a ten. It's a. It's an actual jack. I'm telling you, watch this. That dude has jack under there. Nope. Bust. Bro. If they don't let me play, I'm ending the video. Damn. Got a four under there. Boy, I be counting these cars, bro. See, this is real blackjack, dude. I'm telling you. All right, last hand. I had to play another one because I called that and I missed out on the other hand. Ooh, blackjack. Oh, five or 15. We're going to have to hit this. Give me a uh, six. Give me a uh, two. Oh, I need that six for that one. 21. And you split these tens like an idiot, bro. Really? How? Bro, how? Dude, that was some lucky stuff, bro. I got to play another one off that crate. Let me see what he does next. That was crazy. I'm like, really, I broke even, man. We got to win this hand to get to 5,000. Hopefully, the dealer can bust again. Well, the dealer didn't bust, but hopefully, he can get a bust card. Good. Nobody came in the hand. Let's go. Eight. Four. Show the four, dealer. There it is. I'm calling these cards, bro. I'm calling these cards, bro. <laughs> Got 19, I'm going to stay. I could have doubled down on that. Why is the dude hitting on the... See, he just took the dealer bus car like an idiot, bro. That's 6, that's 16. Would have been a bus. Still bus. We got the 5,000 people. So, uh, y'all subscribe to the channel. Remember, don't, you know, don't forget to go to my GoFundMe in the description. And y'all have a good day. Let's see what my mm -hmm. next car would have been. An ace. So we're out though.